welcome. This is Jeff Foliage, and this is my start of a new year. It's 16 September 2023, and we are in the midst of Hurricane Lee heading up the coast. Kind of a non issue for much of uh, Massachusetts and New Hampshire, and Maine got a lot of rain out of it. Um, it isn't over yet, but I haven't heard any significant issues there. Um, Canada is going to bear the brunt of it along the coast, uh, but it's turned into a tropical storm and it's lessening by the day here. Um, I'm going to discuss a few things like the uh, what we've seen this current week, what next week is looking like. Um, is there any place for you to look for fall colors this early? Um, if you've read my blog for any length of time, you'll know the answer to that already. But let's uh, move on. <clears throat> this coming week, um, the weather's looking a little bit better after Wednesday, or Wednesday on. The, um, you're going to find that the uh, uh, temperatures are going to moderate into the mid to low 70s. Perfect. That's exactly where we like our daytime temperatures. Now the, <laughs> the uh, evening temperatures, not so much. Uh, upper 40s and low 50s. Um, not much we can do about that. Mother Nature is, after all, in charge of all this. And um, you know we're hoping that at some point in the future, maybe after Lee gets done with us, maybe we'll pull some cooler or even colder temperatures in and that'll help start the fall colors. Um, generally, um, this past week, um, none of my photographer friends really found any, um, you know, special. I mean, they made some great pictures. I won't doubt that. But uh, as far as the fall colors went, they really um, weren't able to find any. Um, even now, let me see if I can turn this around. I'm trying a new handheld device here. But anyway, um, the fall colors, you know, especially where I'm at in Massachusetts, we're not going to have any fall colors for a while, um, not until the middle of next month. And uh, I mean, the Berkshires, they usually get some fall colors around um, the 5th, somewhere in there, because of the elevation. But a lot of Massachusetts generally is not going to get a lot of fall colors. New Hampshire, Vermont, Maine, those are going to be your key areas um, for the early part of October. I'm hoping that the fall, uh, well, I should say the temperatures um, will cooperate because we need them to get a little bit colder to bring on the change a bit faster. The colors are going to change whether you know the temperatures go down or not. Um, it's just if the temperatures don't drop, they're going to take their time doing it. So those of you who are showing up the last week in September, you would be very unhappy with that. As it is, I don't know that you're going to be extremely happy um, as we go here. Because right now, the temperatures are decent during the day. But they're uh, pretty light as far as uh, getting down cooler at night. And that's what helps drive the uh, fall colors. Um, getting them to show up and to explode with the colors that we like to see. My friend Jim Salji over at Yankee, you know, he feels it's going to be a pastel type season. Um, lighter colors, not quite as strong. Um, you know, he thinks earlier because of the stress. Um, I'm thinking it's still going to be a slow burn season because we're just not getting the temperatures like we'd like to see. The trees really don't put on a whole lot of show until the color, until the temperatures get down, and that's when the colors will end up showing up. Okay, so as I said, what was seen this past week um, was well, you can see it on my website, jefffoliage.com. I just posted a. Uh, you'll find a link down in the uh, comments or down in the uh, notes section. But the, um, you, will, uh, you can go to my website, go to my blog, check today's report. You can see what 
uh, different photographers have photographed for this past week and each week that we go on you'll see um, what the photographers are catching friends of mine uh, people that I know have a good eye for fall foliage photography okay and um, if you have any questions put them down in the comments we'll see what we can do and help out and uh, oh um, just in case anybody's wondering got my Vermont hat and um, I picked this up at Cold Hollow up in uh, Vermont just south of Stowe on Route 100 and uh, they had some left um, you will uh, who knows uh, I want you to have a wonderful day a wonderful fall foliage day and uh, thanks for listening in we'll talk to you again soon there's a little uh, fall color that I'm seeing um, <laughs> not quite great but a uh, little uh, birch trees that are up above my place uh, in the Salem woods. Not great color, and it's way early for any real color, but I thought I'd point that out. Well, welcome leaf peepers. This is another episode, or maybe the first episode, of uh, 2023 and the fall foliage expedition as we um, have grow to love these things. Well, welcome leaf peepers. This is Jeff Foliage and we're starting out with our new year 2023. Uh, it's 16 September. Hurricane Lee has headed up the coastline passing Massachusetts and uh, barreling towards Maine and uh, New Canadian uh, coast there. Um, 